What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoe Wearing. Today we're checking out Jordan Brand's newest basketball shoe, the Jordan Zoom Separate in this black and multicolored colorway. So first, thank you guys for stopping by to check us out. Feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. So, you know, taking a quick look at the box and the price, it's gonna be a pretty underwhelming shoe box on these. I mean, they're gonna get that generic black box with the Jumpman logo on top. A lot, a lot of non-basketball shoes are gonna get those, like some Jordan 1 lows and some mids. But, you know, as for pricing, I mean, the Jordan Zoom Separate retails for only $110, so definitely on the more affordable side for a basketball shoe, which is always nice. So before I get into the design on these, something pretty cool about this Jordan Zoom separate shoe is that it's actually inspired by Luka Doncic's patented step back jump shot that he's widely known to perform and use in the NBA. I've been kind of pushing for Luka to get his own shoe in general like Zion has. I mean, I think Luka and Jason Tatum are looking like two pretty deserving candidates of their shoe line within that Jordan brand right now. But I mean, this is all we had to work with for Luka. I guess it's the closest thing we're gonna get to his own signature shoe right now. But I mean, as for the appearance on these, you know, a lot like the box, the shoe kind of ranges on the more simple side as far as like the details. This colorway is gonna get like a black and white combo on the upper, which isn't a bad look. You're also gonna get some Jordan brand performance text that shows up on the inside of that upper. We also have some Nike Air Tech that's going to be built into the midsole around the back side of the heel on the back of the shoe. And, you know, the multicolor outsole is going to be where, you know, the colorway name kind of comes from on this shoe. It is a little bit similar to the Jordan Zion 1 Noah that was designed by Zion's younger brother. And then on the tongue for these, it's also going to be another simple look, which is that Jumpman logo kind of off to the side. So, you know, for $110, Jordan brand didn't really go out of their way to add too many pieces, you know, to the look on these. So let's check out how they hold up. So now looking at the material, you do have a few different types of textiles to make up the upper for this Jordan Zoom separate model, but I mean, both are going to be light. The white around the toe box is actually pretty soft. It's sort of like almost a fabric feel, but I mean, most of the upper is going to be thin, which kind of makes me wonder a little bit about how these are going to hold up for durability. But I mean, as for the ventilation, they are going to allow your foot to breathe really easily, which is something nice. And around the heel is a little bit more of a firm feel, which is nice because it just gives you more of a locked in. It gives your ankle just more of a stable feel to the design. So, you know, I did like that. And then, you know, as for the support, there's not like really anything good or bad to say on this model. I mean, the upper is pretty thin, but not to the point that your foot moves around within it. And then you also have an outrigger on this shoe that just gives you a little bit of a wider base, which, you know, is just always something to like. And then we have been seeing Jordan basketball shoes just kind of continue to get lighter and lighter over time, which obviously, you know, I am a big fan of it can help shoes just feel better to move around in like this jordan zoom separate model it's only going to weigh 436 grams for a size 10 and a half and anything on the lower side for the 400s is going to feel pretty light to play in so i mean i'm definitely a fan of that so checking out the materials on these to see how they do for performance and starting off with the cushioning, the Jordan Zoom Separate is going to get a Zoom Air unit positioned under the forefoot of the shoe, and that's going to be there for some added responsiveness. And you can see some air text kind of marked out on that midsole just to signify where that position or where that unit is going to be positioned at anyways. And these do have a pretty nice feel to them. I wouldn't say it's quite to the level of some of the other signature shoe lines in Jordan's brand, you know, or even just Jordan's own shoe line, which I think is on like 36 right now. But I mean, it still is going to offer a pretty nice encore feel with most of that softness coming from the front half of the shoe and these are going to have a mix of two different types of foam in the midsole that are kind of fused together to give you the optimal mix of cushioning just kind of depending on what your foot needs you know that's what nike says anyways and i mean yeah for the price of 110 dollars this is about what i expected to feel it's nothing too over the top to draw my attention to but they definitely don't lack in this cushion category either to finish off with traction, these do get a bit of a unique traction pattern. That inside oval there is actually going to stick out from the design just a little bit, but the arrows there are more so for your like side to side coverage. And then the rest of the pattern is going to handle, you know, your front to back, but you can kind of see how the lines are kind of set up to handle those cuts specifically. So that outer pattern does more than just your front to back. But I mean, the traction on these actually turned out to be really solid. They do have more grip than I was expecting. And, you know, it really didn't have me sliding on any of my moves, even though I was playing on somewhat of a dustier court. So that was really nice but you know to finish off with sizing i did go true to size and that was a pretty much a perfect fit i mean they're about they run about average for the length and the width is about the same right there with it so overall you know the jordan zoom separate is going to be a very nice budget friendly basketball shoe modeled after lucas step back you're going to get a shoe that offers good comfort solid traction and a light on court feel all for the low price of 110 dollars Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. If you want to buy the Jordan Zoom separate, just go ahead and click here on the screen or just check out the link in our bio. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.